Hello, welcome back to the A to Z of archaeology. Today is the letter E, and that means we're looking at excavation. Hence, I brought my trusty trowel with me. Now, um, for as long as there have been people on this planet, we have been finding traces of our former selves in the ground around us. In ancient Rome, Caesar Augustus was an avid collector of ancient Italic artefacts, which were being unearthed by farmers from all around Italy. In turn, it seems that the Vikings were very interested in collecting Roman beads. Many of these are found in Viking deposits, most often in graves. In the 13th century, Al-Azhar University in Cairo was one of the first institutions to see the importance of accurately recording the monuments of ancient Egypt. In the Song dynasty of China, between the 10th and 13th centuries, the collection of objects found in the ground was a gentleman's pursuit, the collection of antiques to show to friends. In the 17th century, John Aubrey was commissioned to record the landscape of Stonehenge and surrounding monuments, an early record of landscape archaeology. The 18th and 19th centuries saw an increasing trend towards amateurism in archaeology. Vickers would go for a Saturday jaunt and excavate a local Neolithic mound. This was in order to collect items together in curio museums, and actually wasn't terribly good for the study of the past. It could be said, for example, that the Earl of Elgin irrevocably damaged the value of the Elgin marbles by taking them out of their context, only to be put on show in a museum. So, archaeology at best had a very amateurish beginnings. Um, at worst, though, it was extremely checkered and had very little in the way of morals or method. Um, however, with the 20th century, uh, there was uh, a movement towards change. So Mortimer Wheeler was an early advocate of such changes. After an extremely successful career in the army, he decided to try and apply the same exacting standards and rigour to the discipline of archaeology. By organising men into groups, and organising how it was that they excavated, he hoped to gain useful evidence. The use of a grid square system, for example, to accurately excavate a site methodically, is still in use today on every archaeological excavation in the world. The need for accurate surveying of a site and maps and map making is still a technique which is in use today. Indeed, the techniques have changed, but the principles are the same. The careful cleaning of objects, even ones which seemed to be unimportant at first, was advocated by Sir Mortimer Wheeler, as was constant recording and a constant notation of what was going on on the site. Tools were even borrowed from other professions, such as the trowel of the bricklayer, and in this way archaeologists came to define the ways and means of their discipline as a profession. Indeed, it can be said that a constant strive for increased efficiency in archaeology has been a feature of the discipline over the past 50 years. So, what is the goal of this excavative technique? The goal is data, a robust and accurate data set which can be approached and reapproached over time. Um, an archaeologist once called excavation the unrepeatable experiment, and that is because it is essentially an act of destruction. Uh, once you have actually uh, taken whatever it is you're excavating out of the ground, it's no longer there. So you, you had best be sure that your recording techniques are accurate and good. In recent years, um, the techniques have been de developed further and debates surround the continuing ev evolution of these techniques, um, including even actually recording as I am now, um, the archaeologists as they're excavating, so that um, at the trowel's edge, so-called, as they're deciding what it is that they're digging up, um, we have a sense of that, so that we don't just get a publication without a, a thought process. Um, this, Some people think this is extremely good, other people think it's a waste of time. Um, to be honest, I, I, I'm very much on the fence about it. But nonetheless, it is um, a sign of a professional um, uh, pursuit when you're actually um, examining your own techniques, when you're revisiting how it is that you're doing what you do. So the story of excavation is in some ways the story of increased professionalism in the uh, discipline of archaeology. So that's been E, excavation. Um, hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to comment below, or indeed if you haven't, 
Um, please do message me if you have any questions and I shall get back to you post haste. Um, of course, please do subscribe to my channel, um, it, it, the more the merrier. And uh, we have a Facebook page, all you need to do is, is search for Arkea Super Productions, click like and um, sh uh, almost certainly you'll get lovely pop-ups on your uh, news feed from Arkea Super. Thank you very much.